One of the coolest things about using cloud-based applications like OneDrive or like Word Online is that the most of them are designed with the idea of collaboration or sharing in mind. So the idea is like through my OneDrive, I could take any of these folders and I could select it. And then I have some different ways I could share it with somebody else so it would show up in their OneDrive also. I could click share and then I could type in a name or an email of somebody and send it to them. Or I could click copy link. And if I click copy link, that makes a link to that. And if I get that link to any other person, or maybe post it on a website or something like that, anybody who clicks that link can get into that folder. So that's kind of cool. I can also just hit copy link if I just want to go straight to making a link. I also have some choices in terms of how I share. If I click this right here, I see that I can share it with anyone, so anybody who gets this link, anyone in the entire world, if they just saw the link somehow and figured it out, they could get in that folder. And because this version of OneDrive is through our school district, I can also make it so only people who are in our school district, if they click the link, would be able to get in. They'd have to log in with their district credentials. People with existing access means people that already have, I've given access to, or specific people means I choose who it is. The other box that I can click is allow editing. This one's really important. If I'm working on the files in this folder with another person, like we're working on a project together, I'd say allow editing because I want them to be able to delete things out of it and add things to it and do whatever they want. But if I just want to show it to people, like I'm going to send this to the whole staff and I'm like, we're not all working on this together. I'm just putting this out for you guys, but I'm going to be in charge of what goes in it. I would not click allow editing because I don't want people to accidentally delete things. This idea works in any Office 365 program and most other cloud-based productivity applications you'll use for the rest of your life. You might use Google stuff, you might use Microsoft stuff, you might use something we don't even know about. But the idea is you always can typically share. For example, I'm going to click this document one. I click that and I go into it. I'm in Word Online. I'm going to say this is my essay with someone else. And maybe I'm working with somebody else on it. So here's what I do. I'm going to click share. Now I can share straight from within Word Online. If this didn't work for any reason, I could just go back to my OneDrive and go this way too. But now I can either type someone's email or name right there. If they're part of our school district, if I type their name, they'll pop up, probably. Or if I know someone's email, I type their email. Then they get an email saying that I've shared it with them. Or I can click copy link. And now I copy the link and I send it to that person. Now both of us could be at any computer in the entire world, logged into our OneDrive, looking at the same document because we're using the cloud-based version of Word, and we could be typing at the same time. You'd actually, if the other person was on it, see a little flag with their name next to it and they could type and I could type and we could work together. Well they could as long as I went here, modified the settings and allowed them to edit. Then we can work on it together. If I don't allow editing, all that person can do is look at what I've done. So to complete this assignment, what I want you to do is share any file or folder you want with me for this assignment just, show you show, just to show me you know how to do it. And when you share it, I need you to do it in the form of copying a link and then going back to Canvas and hitting Submit Assignment and pasting that link in. If you share it with me and type my email, that's not really the appropriate route to share for this assignment because I'm not checking my email to grade this assignment. I'm checking the assignment on Canvas to grade this assignment. So I need you to copy the link and turn it in that way instead of sending me an email. An email would be good if like we were in person and you're just like, hey, Mr. Count, I'm going to send this to you. But since you're just going to send it to me and it's going to sit on Canvas, do the copy link route, copy it, and paste it back on Canvas.